Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. We see Carolina's offense getting set for their first possession here, and at quarterback, his second season with the Panthers, Sam Darnold. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive? Right, what, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end he zone. He was good. Had a snoopful, didn't he? How about that big-time game? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, the Falcons and Panthers, of course, division rivals. But it wasn't a great year for either offense last year, that's for sure. Look at the final numbers. The Falcons, they were 29th in the league in total yardage. The Panthers were 30th. Certainly both looking for an uptick here in 2022. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So Sam Darnold, not really known for having the strongest arm in the NFL, but he certainly laid that one out there. Darnold from the red zone now. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going, and they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another that's going to set up first and goal. Hubbard will take this one in. Touchdown, Carolina. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. He hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either, and it's 7-0. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. Takes it at the 7. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. First and 10 now for the Falcons and Mariota at their own 25-yard line. Now the rookie fifth-round pick. This is Tyler Algier. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They go play action. Mariota. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. Well, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. Faking the give, Darnold. Over the middle, complete. That's Moore. Touchdown, Panthers. DJ Moore, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater from the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? On second down, here's Miller. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. 
Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Give it's Algier. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42 yard line. 15 yards, first down Atlanta. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball. And the ball is knocked out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And they put it on the ground here on the second drive. And, of course, Charles, that follows drive number one where they had the INT. Makes you wonder what's going on with this team because a lot of times we can attribute it to nerves. But maybe it's a lack of focus. Maybe it's, it's the preparation for the game. Maybe they just came into a little lackadaisical because that's just not looking good at all. That's just not the football that we came here to see. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now a toss, Hubbard going left. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. And it's out, he put it on the carpet. And the Falcons say they have it, they do. Well, my friend, this has certainly been a comedy of errors here in the first quarter. Neither side able to really hang on to the ball. Yeah, now I'm just curious to see which team can adjust because both have made their mistakes, as you said. Yeah, and whoever can do that can seize firm control of this game, something they haven't done with the ball so far. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. On second, here's Algier. And he's got room. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Working out of the gun, Mariota. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a handoff to Algier. Pushes him over. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Here's Algier again on second down. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tyler Algier, his 11th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Falcons have cut it back within a score. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that'll make our score 14-7. to seven. The drive summary now tied five plays. And it was Tyler Algier capping things off with a touchdown. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. So here are the Panthers set to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. They'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Darnold on first down. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Darnold. He'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. He'll be back at the 36. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He'll dump this one off to Hubbard. 
And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Through one quarter, 14-7. Panther football to start quarter number two. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Tyler Algier and the rest of this offense making their return to the field. So officially now a thousand yard campaign for him, but I don't think he's going to take his foot off the gas pedal. Yeah, it's, it's one of those thoughts, though, that creeps into your mind because there is a little mini celebration over on the sidelines. Everybody, hey, job well done, over a thousand already. But guaranteed, as you noted, someone's jumped in the auto and said, a lot more to be done, guys. Let's not, you know, as you would you say, take your foot off the pedal. Let's not do that right now. But there is that possibility as people can get self-satisfied. The greats do not. We'll find out what he's made of. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. They'll run for it with Algier. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Here we go on fourth down. Runs over it, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. I love those plays. Fourth and one, that's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. They'll try to throw now. Mariota. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. From the red zone now, Mariota. That's caught left side, the tight end pits. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, it moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Algier will score. Touchdown, Atlanta. Now young way Koo for the extra point. And we've got a good one, bro, and we're all knotted up at 14. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Tyler Algier capping things off with a touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Well, some more great football coming your way in prime time to wrap up the month of October. It starts tonight. Could it be a Super Bowl preview? The Packers and Bills from Buffalo at 820 Eastern. And then tomorrow, Halloween night, Monday night football, the Bengals and Browns from Cleveland. And now this game has changed in importance in recent years. That starts at 815 Eastern. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Darnold. Fighting more on the out route for the completion. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Darnold. Into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. 
And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 34-yard line. Now it's Darnold. Throw left side complete. That's Fuller. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. We're going to fight. On first and 10, Darnold. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. To throw is Darnold. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And Gonzalez out now to try the Panther field goal. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. Gonzalez's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because to be ahead of a defense that much where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Play action now. Mariota looking downfield for Jones. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. On first down, Darnold. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. The play fake, and it's Darnold. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And that will keep this a three-point game. And now two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up with great field position. 
and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. On first and 10, it's Algier. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing is Mariota. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And the Falcons going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Try to lay one up deep, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. But no kneeling for them. They decided they weren't going to run out the clock. They decided to take their shot downfield, hoping to either make a connection or a pass interference call. They wanted more points to put on the board. They'll stick with Algier. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. The Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves. But for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting more pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Second and six, just inside the 30. Mariota to throw it. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. And some space here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And we'll get a pause here. There appears to be a Panther who is shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. Mariota now to throw on first down. Man open here is Jones. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. They'll run it here with Huntley. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Now, during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. This one into the hands of Pitts. Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts, 34 yards. And the Falcons come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Crew able to connect on the extra point, and that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. 
But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Second and 12, Darnold. That's going to be caught downfield by Anderson. Touchdown, Robbie Anderson. 62 yards, and they are able to add on to their advantage. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half is getting this done. It's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Got this complete to the tight end pits. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Mariota on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. On the run, it's Huntley. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Mariota now. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Fourth down, Mariota. Looking downfield for Jones. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Dante Jackson picks it. And the Panthers are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the ends. There he goes, left side. 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Chuba Hubbard with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And his guy's now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Gonzalez is able to tack on the PAT, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Time for another Falcon drive as we get a look at Kyle Pitts, the tight end. And the previous drive put him up over 1,000 yards for the season, so now it's what you like to refer to, my friend, as gravy time, right? It is. I mean, he's done it, right? He's accomplished the goal. So the good players, they relax a little. They bask in it. They think this is okay. We've done what we set out to do. The great players decide to push that number as high as they possibly can. 
I don't expect him to have any let up in his game the rest of the way. Great thing if you're on the opposite side. He's such a weapon. He just opens things up for the other guys around him. Yeah, if you're the opposite receiver, you should expect a few passes to come your way too because I've got to kick coverage in his direction. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. Give Dalgier from the shotgun. And not much room to speak of. He'll get about three up to the 41. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They go play action. Mariota. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they will go from the 47 now on first down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 145 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. First down, Mariota. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. A run with Huntley. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And the throw there going to be incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Uh, you know that they were thinking second-half comeback here. That's a big miss if they want to have a chance at that comeback. A very big miss because time is becoming a real factor now, and they're three scores down. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Darnold from the gun. He's going to look deep for more. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He's going to air one out for Anderson. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jaquan Brisker, and the Falcons are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Play fake. Mariota. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Drake London, the intended receiver there, and it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Miller. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And they're going to speed things up here. A first down carry now for Miller. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. On play action, Mariota. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. 
And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On third and one, here's Mariota. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. With the points that we've seen... About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Algier now up the middle. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Off the play fake, Mariota. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. The sack backs him up. So now Mariota in Atlanta dealing with a third and long. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Algier going straight ahead. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Corey Littleton there on the tackle. From the 41, Mariota. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 22-yard line. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And all the way down inside the five to the four. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Well, things started off exciting. This one had a high-scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas.